Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. On the bench today, we have the Hayoki DT4282 True RMS Digital Multimeter. This multimeter was released to the market uh, November 27, uh, 2012. And this meter is still being sold to this day, if you're interested. And for you guys who are interested, I'm going to leave a link at the bottom of the... Um, at the end of the video and uh, if you guys want to I guess check this meter out and for uh, you guys who are viewing viewing this channel from around the world uh, from other parts of the United States uh, outside of the United States that's what I meant to say um, you may have to go to your the nearest supply store or whatever and but that may help you guys I will leave that link for you guys who are here are located uh, here in the United States and uh, if you're interested in getting this meter, I'm going to let the link will help you too. In fact, there's a Hayoki uh, headquartered in Dallas, Texas. Go figure that out. Right here in Dallas, Texas. So, basically, guys, look, what I'm going to do today, and hear me closely, hear me clearly, it's going to be more of an introduction uh, video uh, of this, this meter. I'm going to call out all the functions, all the uh, features of this meter, tell you what I think about it. And now I do plan on doing some videos with this meter, comparing them against some other high quality meters that I do have. Just to name a few, uh, a FLIR, uh, Etch Tech, uh, the Flukes, uh, the uh, AEMC Instruments, the uh, Agilents that I have. I want to compare this meter to them. And you may ask, why this meter going to compare against the rest of them? Because some, some buddies of mine who I worked with, uh, they have this meter. And man, they swore to me that this meter will, if not on the same level as a fluke, it exceeds it. And I'm like, whoa. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm not taking it what they're saying is not true, it's untrue, because um, I am familiar with Hayoki products, and Hayoki, they're known for making high quality products, safe and reliable, and um, I just wanted to see for myself. So, here it is. I uh, got my hands on one, and I want to compare them against all the meters that I think me, in my opinion, a high dollar and the top of the line. I just want to see to let this meter go up against those meters. So this is going to be a series of videos, guys. Guys, when you see this meter, uh, when I, the thumbnail is going to be this meter on the side of another meter that I may have uh, already done a video on. You know, just, uh, you know, you want to check it out, you can. You got me? But if uh, I'm going to try to go over everything I can concerning this meter here, if I leave something out, uh, you can leave it in the comment. Something that you want me to perform with this meter. And if I can, I'm going to do it. So, uh, just to go on moving forward, I'll just give you guys uh, some of the features. And they call out some of the features that I uh, about this meter. To let, and, uh, just to, you know, pique your interest. Uh, this is a 60,000 count uh, display meter. It also takes 400 data points. I mean, you can store 400 data uh, log it 400 times with this meter. Uh, this meter has, I mean, it's, 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 let me see, it doesn't have Bluetooth, but there is an adapter that comes that you can purchase with this meter. Um, it's called a, a, like a communication adapter. adapter. Uh, the model number is uh, 4900-01. And it's a Hayoki communication adapter, and it goes on. The only kickback with that, now when this meter first came out, I have to tell you this much. Um, you know, I, it's, using a cable is okay back then, but now everything is Bluetooth. That's one of the drawbacks. That's one of the drawbacks. So, but other than that, the meters, uh, so far, it's, I've, I've had a chance to play around with it, and I really do like it now. Also, I've, I've looked at some videos online about this meter before I acquired it, and they mentioned that it's not third-party tested. And, uh, you know, 
shit. I've used meters in my lifetime that that wasn't a main, wasn't a problem. And uh, not saying it wasn't important, but it wasn't a problem. I didn't really check for it. But nowadays, I do. This meter here, I played around with it. And uh, even though it hadn't been, or have not been third-party tested, for some reason, um, I feel, you know, like this meter here is safe and reliable. Again, I tell you, Hayoki is known for a lot of high, putting out a lot of high quality stuff. And I, I, you know, this meter, it really feels nice. Feels nice in the hand. It's nice and heavy. Um, it's accurate. It's, 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 I like it. Put it like that. I like it. So just to hush up for a minute, let me just go over some of the features and we'll talk while I'm doing it. Sorry to keep you guys so long with my, my rambling, but I just want to get that out. It has AC uh, AC voltage, the decibel measurement, voltage DC, voltage AC and DC, continuity, diode, temperature, ohms, uh, nano Siemens, that's in the blue, that's uh, capacitance, microamps, AC, DC, milliamps, AC, uh, uh, DC, sorry, and that's four to 20 milliamps right there. Uh, and right, um, right here, it's AC DC amperage. The soft keys has a min max right here, which you see. It don't have like some of the meters today, they have average, min max average. This one just have min max. Okay. A range button. Watch the digit right here. It'll move. That's the 60,000 count. It'll move again or it'll move again. Um, you can clear that on some of the meters. They have a rail. It's, it's a relativity button that would zero it out, but this one has a clear. This is the auto hold if you if you choose to. Up here, that's if you want to read whatever you're storing. Now remember, I said it goes up to. Uh, I got it on hold. Hold on, do I have hold memory? All right, all right. Min max. Let me take it out of that. Still have to learn it a little bit, but uh, okay. There we go, guys. See, you just go up or down to go through your store, uh, whatever uh, data that you've stored. They have a Hertz, a million volts. They have a uh, um, memory, they have the backlight, which is a nice, I think it's evenly lit and it's nice and bright. Not to mention the digits of the font is nice and large. They're large enough for me to see it. I like, I like the whole screen. Now what it doesn't have is a bar graph. Now, I don't know. Some people use the bar graph and, uh, you know, for whatever reason, that's, and that's good. That, that's good. Uh, use it, but this one doesn't have one. And, that, and that's okay with me. Now, uh, this meter, the price is not, it's, it's, it's up there as you know as you can expect. Some place you can get it for $500, $600 maybe. But uh, today I've seen it on Amazon. You have to be a prime member. You get it for $407.99. I think that's a deal. Um, also, uh, the test leads here, uh, they're gold plated. It's nice and pointy. They also come with these uh, you know, these uh, shrouds right here, protective shrouds you can put on a on the front on the top of it, so you you know prevent art fla uh, art flashing. Uh, the meter, uh, the leads itself, they're they're soft. I must say that uh, they're not like that stiff PVC. It's much more flexible than that, but they're not bad at all. I could I will f find myself using them, you know. So it's not bad at all. Um, I also like back here, I like the fact that it gives you all kind of, I'll put it up here, maybe you guys can see it now. Wait one second. You see here, if you were to, it just, it just give you directions on how to, you know, basic directions of uh, how to operate the meter. And that's a nice feature. Also on the back here, just give you a few little detailed things here that you need, the information that you can use. That's nice. Also in the backpack here, you have a place for your, uh, like your Velcro 
strap where the magnet just slips inside of there, which is nice. And here in this little port where you see the two optical eyes at, that's where the in and out, that's where you see, I mean, that's where the adapter goes. Now, and it takes, uh, I think it's four, it's four AA batteries, AAA batteries it takes. Very nice meter. Uh, so uh, let me call out some of the specs on it. Call out some of the specs on it. I took, I, I printed out some of the, uh, the paperwork and let me see. All right, like the DC voltage uh, measurement range is 60, one, 60 to 1,000 volts, AC 60 to 1,000 volts. But that, what I'm saying, 60 to 60 millivolts to 1,000 volts. And AC 60 millivolts to 1,000 volts. AC DC voltage is six volts to 1,000 volts. And resistance is 60 ohms to 600 mega ohms. Okay, and uh, the DC range, uh, current range is 600 microamps to one to 10 uh, amps. And um, we know about the display, that's 60,000 digits. Uh, we know about the batteries, what it take. And let me see, let me see. Uh, let me see. They say in order to do a uh, amp uh, to do a, a AC current measurement, you must use the clamp, the the probe. Okay, so there's an adapter that you can use that goes with that. Capacitance range is one nanofarad to 100 microfarad, and diode test is open terminal voltage, 4.5 volts or less. Frequency range, you get. Uh, 50% duty ratio, 99.999 hertz, and um, to 500 kilohertz. So the meter itself is stacked as far as features. Um, so I am thinking now that I, until I, until I compare them against the meters that's coming up in the, in, in the future videos, I think it will hold its own, but it remains to be seen. It remains to be seen. So, guys, um, if you have anything that you need, kind of test that you want me to do, within reason, with this video uh, coming up, or the video is coming up, leave a comment. And uh, I'll, I'll try to set that up before the next video. I won't hold you long on these videos. Uh, in fact, the video is going to be quickly, fairly quickly. And... Uh, so you guys just, just hang in there and I'll be putting them out. Now, also, let me get some things out here that I have something I wanted to say, mention. Uh, hmm. All right, so I'm going to shut this video down. Well, I'll tell you what, let me do one. Let me do one little measurement for you guys to see. I'm going to take this 1500 uh, microfarad capacitor since uh, that's within this range. I just want to see how accurate it is. Okay. And how quick that it adjusts. I want to save some of the other stuff, guys, for next week or for the next video, I should say. And, well, man. Okay. That's pretty good, 1.4. I don't know if that would be an inspector or what, but uh, it's a 10%, I believe, right? To be microfarad, 1.3. Uh, but it's, it's 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 pretty fast. It's uh, it's pretty fast. I'm gonna try this one. This is. Uh, 30 plus five, okay? All right, 30 plus five microfarads. Five for the fan and 30 for the compressor. 4.9, that's five. 
and this one would be three, There's something wrong here. That was good, it's right on point. Good, it's a good capacitor and it's fast. Guys, uh, look, I don't wanna ramble, because, but I do wanna do a thorough, uh, I wanna do a thorough review of this video. So far, guys, it's looking pretty nice. I'm asking you guys to stay tuned, all of my subscribers to stay tuned. Those of you, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I hope that you see something that, that I hope I said or did something that perked your interest, that you will return. Uh, but in the meantime, you guys stay, stay, take care, and I will be seeing, um, you will be hearing from me very soon. And uh, nope, you know, but before, something else I forgot to mention. I want to mention what all comes with this. With 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 this, um, you get the leads right here. You get the, you get a set of batteries. You get the meter, and then you get this instructional manual. Instruction manual, which is a pretty decent manual. I've seen worse. This is not worse at all. This is really nice. You can read it. It's nice. On, uh, the, the font is pretty nice sized, and it's it's nice. They have a, a, a long display. Let me try this uh, this continuity because I've I've seen it. This the one that turns red when uh, there you go. It has that one when it's over. That's nice, guys. Um, looking forward. I'm looking forward to doing the videos, guys. I hope you are too. Uh, see you next time. I'm out.